Eikka and Frankie, great to have you here, guys, at Radio Nova. Thanks for having us. Good to be here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, uh, first we have to talk about new Apocalyptica album, Shadow Maker, and the biggest difference between like the earlier albums with this one is, of course, that Frank, you are with the band. Uh, earlier, you guys have like guest vocalist, but now you decided to stick with the one guy. How did you came up with that idea? idea that you want to have one guy and the guy is Frankie? Um, long story short, but uh, we had a long break, like one year, one year break after touring with Seven Symphony. Mm. And when we came back from the, uh, the break, we started from a very scratch, from the clean table, we were out of record deal, we were out of everything. So we were like, really like, okay, let's start from scratch and f- try to find out uh, what kind of music we want to do. And we actually wanted to really to put the focus on us, mm. you know, what we want to do. After all these years of different collaborations, doing the tour with uh, Avanti Orchestra, doing the Wagner Reloaded yeah. with orchestra and choir and dancers and all these different projects. So we really wanted to focus on the band. And, and when we came to the point that most of the songs were written, uh, it was obvious that there were a lot of vocal tracks and we had to find a solution for that. And, and to make uh, one more album with uh, different guest vocalists was really not an uh, interesting option yeah. at all. Because when you make an album like that, it's uh, so many moving parts and so many things are depending on the things outside of the band, you know. So too many record companies, too many managements, uh, too many people involved. Yeah. And and uh, it's fun to make such a record, but it's also very stressful and it's hard to keep, you know, everything in control. Mm-hmm. And and this time we wanted to do it differently. So we we decided, okay, only way to do it is that we have, we have to find somebody to sing the full album. Mm-hmm. And very crucial thing was that we also wanted to connect we were touring with Tipa Johnson, who, were, who made a great job for five years as a touring singer. But still, the thing was not connecting with the albums because you know having a different guy uh, on stage and who, who doesn't sing on any of the records, yeah. so it seemed to be a bit confusing for everybody. So we wanted to have a singer who can sing the full album and make the whole touring on the back of the album. Yeah. And so we made uh, like a quiet audition. We sent out an email inside the music industry that okay, we are looking for a singer, and we could like filtered uh, maybe 20 to 30 different singers. We went them through and a few of them we asked to make a tape audition. Yeah. And um, the second round, you know, the version, uh, it was actually a new song called Hole in My Soul. And we just sent a little part of the demo, just one verse and one chorus, and asked everybody to sing like with no effects, no production, just you know how it sounds. And, yeah. and actually you told us you, you sang it on the laptop, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and uh, on my MacBook, yeah. I basically just Sung on top, very personal. Okay. Actually, when I got that track, it's a, it's a song off the, the new album. It's called uh, Hole in My Soul. Mm-hmm. It was so, such a honest song in such a, like, an amazing moment. Even when I heard it, when I heard the demo with the, with the writer, right, that's singing on it, yeah. right? I was like, man, I want this gig, yeah. you know? And so I just shut off the lights, got in, my, you know, in front of my laptop, and I sung it and sent it off. I think I had the song maybe like hours. Yeah, <laughs> I had it for like, yeah. right back, like okay. send, you know? And uh, it was pretty amazing to get that, that email that they liked it and they wanted to work with me. It's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah. So what did you know about Ap- Apocalyptica beforehand? You know, it's actually a really interesting story. I was in a band called Scars on Broadway with um, John and Darren of System of a Down. And we were on the road in Europe doing festivals, and in one of the shows we played, the Area Four Festival, we were actually on the same stage, same bill as Apocalyptica. Mm-hmm. And then there was this whole buzz about Apocalyptica, you know, these these cellos doing rock and, and metal music, mm-hmm. you know. And, and so I made a point to stick around, and I stood on the side of the stage in, in the wings and watched them play. And now, however many years later, I'm in the band. It's it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, I actually. Uh, uh, listen to some interview with Mikko, your drummer, and he said, actually kind of funny, that Frankie was actually so good that we didn't call him back at first because we thought that he was so good, he actually wouldn't want to tour with us. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're too good for the band, how is this? Yeah, yeah that's like, you know, uh, when we started to search for a singer, we, it was kind of, we felt it like risky because uh, we thought that it's hard to find a world-class singer. We thought that the singer needs to be on the level that our guests have been. Mm. 
and how can you find a singer who is available yeah. you know and who can who can take the gig it's not the easiest gig you know to take uh, you know it's partly instrumental band and it's partly with vocals on stage also and you know it's and 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 the, it's not like about finding a like like a front face for the band yeah. it, it's a totally different thing you know the singer is one of us and one of the musicians actually mm. in this group and We was like, we just thought it. Okay, we checked all, all the stuff, you know, your funk stuff and all the yeah. stuff on the internet. We're like, yeah, that guy is amazing singer, but is is he really, you know, really? Yeah. You know, you you know, he needs to partly to move to Finland. You know, yeah. he needs to spend a lot of time here. What kind of you know family situation he has? Mm -hmm. Is he available or willing to do it? So it's a big big uh, step, you know, to take the job. So we were a little bit concerned, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny that we never met. We've been working with same people. We yeah. know same people, you know, in the music industry and uh, and same bands and mm. musicians. But we never met in person. Even we were in the same festival. You know, ah, okay. We actually played two shows together back ah. then. Yeah, we did a second one in Arizona, opening up for Metallica. Yeah, yeah, yeah same bill. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So Frank, and now you've been uh, to Finland quite a few times. Yeah. Uh, what is your experience from like Finnish guys and? I don't mean Finnish guys like well you can say if you have experiences with the Finnish guys but you know <laughs> without yeah Finnish guys. yeah yeah but you know about about Finland and uh, apocalyptica guys <laughs> yeah. I meant well you know what man it's uh it's actually and maybe you know the public would be happy to know that these these men are very proud of their country mm. and so they made a point of like showing me proper Finnish culture and and uh I love it here. It's it's gorgeous here, and people have been very friendly. I had to figure out the produce thing, like the banana and the the numbers. <laughs> like we don't have. That's a little weird. It's like bingo. You know what I mean? Like, like the first time I went to a store, I had bananas. I was so excited. I was hungry, and I put it on the thing, and the lady goes, "I was like, what? I didn't. I was so confused, but um, yeah, it's it's a beautiful country, man. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, and there's a lot, you know." One thing that you know, you all should know, and maybe it's a Finnish thing, but I don't think so. I think it's an apocalyptic thing. These guys love being naked. I don't get it. <laughs> well, actually, it's a Finnish thing, and we're gonna get naked right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys been naked together yeah. quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been naked once, but they're naked all the time. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. that sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. But what is the big, biggest dif difference between like apocalyptic guys and the other musicians you work with? Because you have like tons of experience experience with the different lineups and groups? Well, I mean, the first thing is I haven't been in a like a proper band in a long time. Like I, I I've basically been a, a singer for hire. I've worked for a bunch of different artists. So the biggest difference is like being in a situation where it's like you have to compromise. You're in, you know, it's a team effort, you know, like there's not just one person making the decision. Um, as far as musicianship, Obviously, these are classically trained guys, and I mean, they're virtuosos, man. And it's like it's pretty. In the beginning, it's I gotta admit, it's a little intimidating. You know, it's like yeah. you're playing with a certain level of musician that I'm sorry, I love you all. Everybody I've played with, but it's a different level, you know. Um, but you know, just put your belt on tight and you jump in, yeah. you know, naked, so. naked, <laughs> just a belt, yeah. just a belt. I can only imagine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>